Okay, so let's um, in this video have a look at another back titration. So we're going to have a think about what we're doing in this one. So we've got 1.25 grams of crushed limestone. So limestone um, cannot be put into our titration directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in excess hydrochloric acid, a lot of hydrochloric acid, and the limestone is going to react with the hydrochloric acid um, part of the limestone. It's the calcium carbonate part of the limestone is going to react with the hydrochloric acid. Then the extra hydrochloric acid that's still there is going to be used in a titration. So in this one, we're going to transfer it to a volumetric flask. This is our extra hydrochloric acid and make it up to 250. And then I'm going to take 25 of that and titrate that with um, some, what does it tell us, sodium hydroxide. So there we go, we're going to titrate that with some sodium hydroxide. So let's just visualise that. We put in 1.25 grams of limestone, which we know contains some calcium carbonate. That's going to react away with our excess big load of acid, 50 centimetres cubed, of one mole per decimetre cubed HCl. So that's, that's an excess, that's a big lot more than we need. We're then going to move the leftover HCl, so basically after this has fizzed away and reacted, the HCl is going to be moved into here and made up to 250 centimetres cubed with water and then 25 of that are going to be moved into a flask for a titration and titrated with 30.10 centimetres cubed of 0.1 mole per decimetre cubed sodium hydroxide. So if you were in an exam and you were looking at this, there are, there's two things that you could calculate straight away. It wouldn't necessarily be logical to do those two things first in terms of sequencing the calculation, but you could score two marks. There are two things you can calculate moles of. The excess HCl, the amount of HCl you started with, your big amount at the beginning, and your amount of sodium hydroxide at the end. So let's have a go. Let's, let's work our way through this. Um, calculation. So first of all, I'm going to just see, um, like our analogy earlier on, how much money I went into the shops with. How much HCl did I start off with? So the number of moles of HCl at the start. So I'm just going to put this somewhere and I'm going to keep it there. I'm just going to put a box around that to keep that. That's like how a big amount we're starting off with. Okay, so keep that there safe. Right, what else do I know? I'm going to look at the number of moles of NaOH needed. And that was to do our neutralisation, 30.1. So that is how many moles of NaOH came out of the burette. Now when we move... From there, the burette to the conical flask, we're changing chemicals. We're going from NaOH to HCl. And so what we need to do is use a balanced equation. So let's have a look at the balanced equation. How does the NaOH react with the HCl in the conical flask? So I can write a balanced equation and I can see that the ratio is 1 to 1. So what I now know is that the number of moles of HCl in the 25 centimetres cubed conical flask equals the same as the NaOH. Right, where am I now in my picture? Well, I'm now, I'm now down here. I know how many moles are here. So I'm going to go this way and say, well, how many moles are in the volumetric flask of HCl? So the number of moles of HCl in the 250 we're scaling up, remember, so we're going from 25 to 250, we're going times by 10, so I'm going to do 10 times 10. So that's how many moles of HCl are in this volumetric flask, so we're, remember we're now here, this is how many moles of HCl are now here, and 
they all came from here. All we did in the step between the beaker and the volumetric is add water. So we didn't change the amount of HCl. Right, so we went to the shop, we went to our limestone with 0 0.05 moles, and after we'd finished reacting it with the limestone, we were left with 0 0.0301. So how many moles of HCl must have reacted with the limestone? So we do 0 0.05 minus 0 0.0301 and you should get 0 0.0199. Now that is how much reacted with the limestone. So what was in the limestone that reacted? So remember we said that it was calcium carbonate that reacted with the HCF. So can you write a balanced equation for that? Okay, and so the ratio now is one to two. So how many moles of calcium carbonate did we have? it would be our moles of HCl divided by 2 and if we do that we get 9.95 times 10 to the minus 3. So that is how many moles of calcium carbonate we have and our question is actually a percentage by mass. Now to find a percentage of mass we need to know mass. So if mass is Mr. Moles of calcium carbonate we need to add up calcium carbonate using a periodic table. If you've done that, you should have got 100.1 times by the moles. And you will get a mass of calcium carbonate in your limestone sample. And then it says, well, what percentage of the limestone, therefore, was calcium carbonate? So it was 0 0.996. And the limestone was 1.25 grams as a percentage. 79.7%.